welcome to Vlogmas day 14. Uh, it's, it's been ages since I picked the camera up. I haven't picked it up at all today and it's now just after four o'clock. It's getting dark um, and I'm out walking Poppy and Maggie who are around somewhere. They've now got bells and blue collars, uh, lighting up collars. It's a, it's a gentle walk, a gentle stroll around a like a one and a half kilometres, a barely a mile track. Um, I have a nice saunter and they go absolutely crazy. Um, one of them has just run by. I can see them now because they've got these blue collars on. But I've had a lovely day at school, um, been busy. The children are definitely ready for Christmas. <coughs> definitely ready. Um, all they're talking about is when Father Christmas is coming. What's the school elf been up to? Oh, today the school elf managed to paint. Um, I'm saying um because somebody actually said uh, my camera was a bit jerky and I'm seriously doing my best, but walking around a wood holding a camera isn't easy. Um, so yes, the school elf had got a chocolate, melted it and written hello on a, w on a glass internal window in chocolate. I saw the, the school cleaner after school, he was not happy. He was not happy at all. So it's a lovely evening here. It's not too cold. Um, I'm just waiting for Hannah to come home. Uh, my plans tonight are when I get in to, to set today's flag going. And I don't think I'm going to use any metallic thread today because I want the flag to go down quickly. And then I'm going to get on and make another Gabby top. I've got yesterday's Gabby top on. These two dogs are going crazy with blue collars. There's one. That's Poppy. Hey Maggie, where are you? It really is such an idyllic place to come. Uh, it's so quiet and so peaceful. I don't actually know if I've shown you. I've shown you a little bit around here. Here comes Poppy. There's some horses in a the field there. Up to uh, Queen Margaret's. And here we are. We're going out for another little walk with um, Hannah later. So yes, it's been a very, it's been a very lovely day, very busy. And uh, I'll catch you up again later when I get back into the well, kitchen. Thank you, Poppy. I've got very wet legs. Yes. Where are you going now? You're going back in. Poppy is very much the water dog. She's a water dog. Mag Mag isn't so much. I am very fascinated by my dogs and what they do. They're such good company for me. So here we go, the flags are up. I am struggling to get them rolled. Um, it's, I'm really pleased with the way things are, but on my right thumb, just here, I have very, very severe repetitive strain injury. And I'm just waiting to see if I can get into the doctors to get my cortisone injections popped in. So I'm now going to go and put you back onto time lapse in a minute, and I'm gonna try and make another Gabby top because I like this one so much. Um, tonight's been a bit of an interesting one with lots of chatting. I've had Hannah here, she's cooked my dinner and we've gone out and had a little dog walk together. She needed to get a copy of her marriage certificate so we walked down to the vicar for that and then just had a lovely walk back through the village together. 
I've turned up some trousers for a friend of hers. It's like my eyes, when the opticians say, oh, well, you know, you shouldn't be doing all this sewing, it's not good for your eyes. And then the doctor said, you know, why have you got strain injury? What have you been doing? Well, first of all, I thought it was the use of power tools after I lost David, but apparently sewing doesn't help. Maybe I should learn to under-sew these seams that I insist on rolling, but I get these injections from the doctor, usually three to, three to four times a year. This year's been a little bit different. So I'm going to ring the doctors over the next couple of, well, the next week, I think, and just ask very politely if it's possible for me to have my injections because well, I need them, I can't sew. It hurts. It just hurts. Anyhow, I'm going to stop and then restart. And um, I'm just going to thread up my overlocker, then I'll restart the video. And um, off we go with another Gabby top. This is the one with the snowflakes on. Oh, by the way, before I go, everybody admired this one today at school. They, they all thought I'd bought it. recording for my Gabby top and the battery ran out on my vlogging camera so I thought I'd just pop on here with my iPhone I don't like recording with my iPhone because I'm desperately trying to hold it still and steady and then I'm going to show you it again when I finished it record the end of the vlog get that uploaded and then by then hopefully there'll be enough charge in my camera to get the rest of my footage off I'm so determined to get this up with my other Gabby top. I again like the sleeves. I'm not so certain about this one. Um, there is something that is putting me off drastically and I really can't say what it is. It's not the pattern. I think it might be the fabric. Having bought the fabric, I just don't think I like it. There's nothing wrong with the top. It's gone together beautifully absolutely but i mean i think i've even got a better fit on the shoulders than yesterday um i think it's the fabric i just don't think i like it as much i mean there's there's absolutely nothing wrong also it doesn't have the horizontal stretch so across my bust it's not sitting properly i'm being quite brutal here I'm looking at myself in the mirror as I'm talking to you and I am being very brutal but across the chest here it doesn't look right at all and I don't know. I, I'm quite happy to sort of plod around the house in it and I will wear it around the house but I don't think it's right for school. Or actually it might be okay for school tomorrow. The, the fabric I've bought I thought was horizontal and vertical stretch and it isn't. Um, and I've made a big, big error. And I'm, you know, it's one of those things. As I keep saying, I'm learning about Jersey. I'm not a Jersey sewer. What I'm creating is getting better and better. Um, but this particular fabric has been very disappointing. Um, it's just one of those things. But I've had a great time and I managed to make it really quickly. Overlock has been fantastic. Anyhow, on that sort of semi unhappy note i'm going to sign off for vlogmas day 14 um i'm really sorry i've lost my camera and i'm using my phone i don't quite know I've, I've got into quite a good place where i look into the camera when i'm talking to you using my um my camera so i'm really sorry if it looks like i'm looking down on you i've got my teacher eyes on i haven't 
it's just that it's just the way I'm looking at the camera and through the, the very focal of my glasses. You might like this. It's certainly not like the yellow one. The yellow one is just so comfortable. It's exactly the same size. That's the difference. That not having the right amount. There is some stretch. There just is not enough. I can't even get my watch out of 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 here. So. Whether I wear it tomorrow, I don't know. I might not wear it tomorrow. I might wear it later in the week if it gets colder. I might wear it for gardening. I might just wear it out and about. It will get worn. It's just not been as nice as I thought it was going to be. But I made it. Promised I'd make it and I made it. So stay safe, everybody. And I'll see you all on Vlogmas Day 15. Bye-bye.